Hello techies, welcome to IT Tech Solution. Today in this video we will see how we can connect a snowflake to AWS S3 as an external stage. I have done a video previously uh, where I showed like how we can connect to AWS S3 using AWS IAM user credentials. So this was the option 3 that we used that time. Uh, but it's recommended always to use storage integration because that is a more secure way to connect to the external sources. And Snowflake also recommends to use uh, storage integration. Uh, the other difference is here in AWS IAM user credentials, we had to use AWS secret key and access key and we can overcome all those things in uh, storage integration we don't have to pass in any uh, credentials here so this is more secure and reliable so that is why it's recommended always to use storage integration so let's see in this video what is the storage integration and how we can configure it to connect to uh, AWS S3 as an external stage. So here if you see uh, in the official documentation they have given this diagram which explains like what are the two entities and what is the connection between them how we can establish that connection. I'll just try to explain it and then we will see it uh, practically. So in Snowflake side we have a object called as external stage object. Okay. Now that external stage object is linked to the storage integration. Now storage integration is, uh, is an object where we configure few things uh, where uh, we get uh, where the Snowflake actually it creates a user for us. Okay. And it also creates an external ID. So when we create a storage integration, we get these two informations additionally from Snowflake. We don't have to create it separately. Now what we do, we take those two parameters and we create a, we create an IAM role in uh, AWS. We attach the required policy in that role and in that roles trust relationship, right? We define uh, which uh, principle it has to connect to. So in, in the trust relationship of this IAM role, we will define uh, the username which is created by storage integration. And we in this role trust relationship will also use the external ID uh, so that uh, AWS can understand to which uh, account it has to you know uh, connect using these two uh, uh, parameters the IAM user and the other one is external ID which will be created in Snowflake but we have to configure those things into AWS so what we will do in this the steps would be we will create a policy here we will create a role and to that role we will attach the policy that policy will allow us to fetch the files from S3 bucket Next thing we will create here is uh, S3 bucket, which will obviously we be as an external stage for us. We'll create the storage integration first here in Snowflake, and then we'll put those two details here in uh, in the AWS IAM role that we will create. So we'll just see the steps one by one. Uh, so first of all, we'll just create a policy. Uh, then we'll create a role, attach that policy in AWS. We will create S3 bucket. And in Snowflake, then we will create a storage integration. So let's just start one by one. So first, let's go to S3 and just create a bucket. So the bucket that I'll be using is um, is the one that I have placed here. Uh, so we'll just use the same bucket here. I'll just create that bucket here. Uh, so we'll create a general purpose bucket. All the other uh, options, I'll keep it as default and I'll create this bucket. Once this bucket is created, let's go inside that bucket and I'll also create a folder which we'll call as the landing folder. I want to place files in this landing folder and this will be our path uh, to fetch the files from S3. Now S3 is done. We'll go to then uh, to IAM. Uh, in IAM first, let's just create a policy. Okay, we'll go to policies. In this, we'll create a policy and then the actions that I want on resource is S3. I want to have some permissions on S3. We can go this way or what we can do, we can just copy this JSON document from here and straight away we can instead of defining all the permissions here, let's just use which is given by Snowflake. We'll go to JSON option here and we'll just replace this default JSON with what they have given in the documentation. So this I'll explain what it is doing. So it has uh, uh, a few actions which we will be defining on the prefix. Uh, okay, so from the prefix, uh, 
that is from the landing folder i want to do some actions so these are the actions i can just read it write it and do whatever i want so those permissions accordingly will have to put here uh, another thing i want my bucket to be discoverable so list bucket should be allowed here okay so now let's just uh, replace the bucket name and prefix from here uh, i'll just replace the bucket name let's just replace the bucket name let me just copy it back from here and then i'll come back here let's just change the bucket name here to our bucket and the folder that we just created is the landing folder so i'll give the name as landing here in uh, in in the bucket name again we'll have to change and s3 prefix that i want uh, is uh, landing prefix okay so this is the landing uh, folder now this uh, uh, policy json is updated we'll click click on next then we'll give a name to this policy i'll give just snowflake external policy because it allows me to connect to external stage snowflake external policy this is all fine let's create this policy uh, we'll see that it, the policy gets created in couple of seconds we'll just verify this is the policy and it has the permissions here now what we will do we will create a role for this uh, in this role uh, we'll attach the policy that we created so we'll go to aws account because my uh, snowflake is hosted on uh, aws in a separate account right so we have to go into a separate account uh, aws account i'll say and then i'll give another aws account right this is a separate aws account that uh, wants to connect to this uh, using this role and account id right now we don't know the account id which snowflake has right uh, so let's just for now give a placeholder i'm just giving my account id but here we'll uh, have to go back and change it in the trust uh, uh, relationships of this role we'll see that but for now we i'm just giving my this current uh, aws account id uh, we need an external id this is the best practice uh, when we connect from the third party um, platform right so we'll just say require external id and external id also i don't know until unless i create an external uh, you know uh, storage integration here uh, in that we'll go we'll get those properties but now right now i don't know those properties so i'll just give a placeholder here so now these two things are fine we just remember that we have to go back to trust relationship and change these two now we'll click on next uh, and then add permission so the policy that we created will add that policy here so i'm just attaching that policy here now i'll give the name to this role again like snowflake snowflake external role okay let's just give this role name here um, and this is the trust uh, relationship which is getting created right now it is saying my account of this present uh, aws account but we need to change it to snowflake account id okay and then in the external id also we'll change so for now we'll create with this okay so now uh, the role is created we'll copy the arn uh, we'll copy the ARN of this. So this is the external role ARN. We just need to copy this because when when we create a storage integration, we will need this. So this is all done in the AWS side. Let's go to Snowflake side and start creating the storage integration. So what I'll do, I'll just create a separate database for this so that it doesn't get mixed up with other things. Uh, so I'll create a demo DB1 schema also i'll change i'll create a schema called as storage integration demo one now these two things are created let's see here demo db1 and the schema is created here now what we'll do we'll create the storage integration so to create storage integration we need the arn right just now the role that we created so storage aws role arn we'll paste it here so this is the role that we just now created so storage integration should know which role it has to use in aws to get the files and then what is the location okay from where it has to fetch the files so that complete location along with the landing folder where i will be placing the files so that location we need to give 
here we can give multiple locations as well if our pipeline is going to use the same uh, storage integration right we can still use the same storage integration it's just that we need to add another uh, source here so if another bucket we need to have here we can give after this comma and then we can give the uh, separate another path as well so for now we have just one bucket let's go with that and i'll just create this storage integration type is here i'm saying that it's external stage so storage integration will create uh, those two things that we would need here so we'll do describe integration the one that we just now created let's just do a describe here so it will give us the parameters here now if you see all these bunch of parameters we are more interested in the aws external id that is this one and storage aws i am user arn so now snowflake has created a user uh, for us and now we need to link this into our um, uh, aws role that we have created to establish that connection between Snowflake and uh, AWS. So let's just copy this one by one. So first thing is user ARN. And here in user ARN, I'll just copy this complete ARN path, which is given by Snowflake. I'll go back to my AWS role. And there in this role, we'll just go to trust relationships, okay? Here in trust relationship, if you remember, these two were the placeholders at the time of creation. So we'll have to change it now. Now in edit, uh, trust relationship i'll give here the user that snowflake has created for me so it will know that this is the uh, user that it has to connect to and using this external id so the external id also we'll have to copy from here this is the external id which it created for us we'll just copy this external id and we'll change it and update it here so the two things we have uh, updated right so we'll just update the policy okay now the permissions and trust relationships is all done so using this trust relationship it will be connecting to a third party account and it will be using this user and then external id that it will be using this external id and both things were created by snowflake for us now once this is done uh, our next step is let's create an external stage in snowflake we'll define an external stage using the storage integration we just now created so that the external stage will know that it has to use this storage integration and using this storage integration all the configurations that we have done will be applicable to this external stage and then in the external stage as usual we'll have to give the url uh, to which it has to connect to and what is the file format that it is expecting so here i am creating a csv file format i am just defining that file format here uh, i have one header in my file so i'll give as skip header let's just create this file format using this file format and the storage integration that we just now created will create this external stage so now the external stage is also created let's just maybe verify here uh, in our uh, explorer we'll see that demo db is created and in demo db we have this uh, schema which is which just now we created uh, and in that we'll have the stages as well as the file format so both the things are created here uh, if you go to stage we will see the different properties that we used uh, we are using uh, demo integration one here and this is the url it has to connect location is aws so this is all done uh, now uh, we should be able if everything is done correctly we should be able to uh, fetch the files from the external stage but for that we need to place the file a sample file in our s3 uh, s3 folder so let's just use a sample file and that sample file is a simple csv where i have some header here and then it's a customer report so it has first name last name company name and other things here it's a simple csv file so i'm just using this file let's just upload this file into our landing folder uh, and then we we can so that we can you know um, access this from snowflake using the select query uh, so i'll just upload this file here so this file is uploaded we can see this is uploaded here now and in s3 if everything is fine let's just try to run select column number three and column number four so column number three is nothing but the first name and four is the last name so we should be able to fetch the names here so let's just run this select 
third and fourth column from my external stage it's trying to fetch it from the external stage let's see now we see that we were able to successfully fetch the first name and the last name from our external stage using the storage integration we just now created so this is as simple as that there is only few concepts that we have to remember here so i hope you like the video uh, stay tuned for more such informative videos i'll be posting uh, until then have a nice day bye bye